Hi, welcome. I got a question in from an Arco Linux user about the Conkeys. Now, remember, there's a lot of information already available about Conkeys, and it's in here, Design Conkey. And if you get stuck, there is even a wider variety about Conkeys on ericdubois.pe. All about Conkeys. Where are the Conkeys? Themes, playlists, Conkeys, Linux. This is all about Conkeys, Aureola. Ariola is a um, predecessor of um, what I did in the Conkeys for Arch Labs and later Arch Merge and now Arch Linux. So I have uh, incorporated my own Conkeys inside Arch Linux. So you can learn here as well about the technicality about Conkeys. Okay, but um, there was a question about hey, how about changing the size? I, I mean, changing where it is this uh, conky right here Arch Linux nemesis is a position positioned at a certain um, well place how do you change that so we go to eric control h in the dot config we have a conky here are all the r conkeys everything is in here the question is what is this thing that is actually working so we could do this right mouse click then we have conky zen we have here also a conky zen and then we can see what is actually active so a war nemesis is active so it's okay that's good now we know that we need to have this one now you choose whatever uh, application or whatever um, editor you want atom genie there's a lot of things here don't do this but Atom, Genie, Mousepad, all good. But we need to figure out what are the codes that, that move this thing around. That's what we need to find out. When I work with Conkeys, I always do like this. So I see what's happening. So we check it out. So lots, lots of reading in here. And we have um, all information behind. And here we see if we have a dual screen, I use, should use this one. So if I have two screens here, so if I want it on my second screen to the right, I should use that one. But this is the general uh, setting. So gap X between the right or left border, depending how you organize everything. So if you say, I'm going to change this one and save, something should happen. And it's maybe a bad wallpaper, so let me take a lighter one. And you see already the gap uh, right there. And if we change this one, and let's make that 50 as well, it will change as well. So it's these things that are defining your X and Y. And zero is often not the proper dimension. As well, you don't see it, but there is a, about four or five millimeters of conky on my second screen. So that's not, not good. So setting everything back as it was. Control Z is a great feature. And for the rest, normally everything is set correctly. So that's the height. If the height is not correct, you can make it a little bit bigger. If something falls off or you deleted a few lines and you want to make it smaller, that's this one. So Control Z and this is the width. So do you want it wider? then you say let's take this one well that's too much save and then this will be a little bit wider it all depends on your screen of course even a small computer you rather would want this to not to make 230 but maybe 200 so it becomes smaller the only thing you have to watch out for is text that falls off as you can see here i don't know i think we miss we're missing here a percentage behind it because it's coming too small let's see yeah we're missing a percentage if we make it too small so it's um, this is just about this little part here in the code about how to posi position everything so this is now the middle right as maybe also interesting to conclude so we have the top middle as well um, we can change those things in here and then it's going to position itself from the top to the right and so on. You can change those. It's uh, an easy thing to do.
All right. Cheers.